Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking SE77 again for the first video, first video today. Only video to the usual. So, um, I'm going to do a Pie Tracker review right now. So, um, I know I said in the last video, um, there will be a series for a long time, quite a while. So, I think right now I'm going to delay the topic I have for today and do a Pie Tracker review instead. And my cat's trying to, um, get on my lap, but it, my cat won't get on my lap. Say hi! Say hi, kitty! Say hi, kitty! Anyway, um, so the Pie Tracker review I have for you nowadays today is, um, this tobacco. Okay. We have Milk and Honey by Scotty from PipesandCigars.com. Now, I've been meaning to try this tobacco for a long time, quite a while, probably a year or two, and I finally tried it. Um, I had, I've had three bowls so far, and this tobacco really isn't that good, so let's get into that later, but, um, anyway. So, I bought an ounce of this tobacco, and let's have a smell of the tobacco. Very sweet, has a very sweet, um, almost creamy, like, uh, my cat keeps doing that, um, but, um, very, very sweet, very creamy, almost like a milkshake, like, um, smell, very pleasant smell, like most aromatics. Now, this tobacco contains three primary tobaccos, which are, I have it written down right here, uh, Virginia, Burley, and Black Havish. So, it is aromatic blend or a flavored tobacco, flavored pipe tobacco, and let's do the review. Now the strength of the tobacco, the nicotine content. I'd say the nicotine content of this blend is probably mild. I detect, I detect no strength, no buzz, nothing, um, just your general nicotine feelings. But I mean, you generally feel a nicotine feeling when you smoke a pipe, or smoke a cigar, or smoke anything, but uh, any type of tobacco. But um, nothing overwhelming has no strength, just flavor, which is good, because I don't like strength. The body. The body of this tobacco, I'd say, probably is medium mean to full. It's actually mild to medium medium. It goes up and down. Now, in the first third of the bowl, it is very, very mild. It's extremely mild tobacco, almost airy. In the second th half of the bowl, um, it definitely has more of a flavor to it, Though you taste more of the Burley and more of the Virginia, you know, and less of the amirants or flavorings. So, in the first third of the bowl, you taste um, almost like, um, how would I describe it? Um, almost like a creamy, not milk-like taste, but almost like a creamy... It says on TobaccoReviews.com, which is always my reference, um, TobaccoReviews.com, it's flavored w with uh, whiskey and scotch, you know? whiskey and scotch, which are alcohol, you know, I don't really detect, well, to a certain extent I, I detect that, but, um, point is, um, it has a very interesting taste to it, um, but burns very hot, I will tell you that. Um, if you're going to buy the tobacco, be aware that it burns very hot. The flavors, um, the flavors of tobacco, again, like I said, are whiskey and scotch, you know, I detect more of a creamy, almost vanilla-like taste mixed with a little bit of alcohol-like flavoring. It isn't overwhelming, you know. It's not like taking a shot of whiskey, you know, or a shot of scotch, you know. It's more of like a creamy vanilla with more of a alcohol-like seasoning, so if that makes sense. So, the room note. How it smells non-smokers. The room note of this probably smells, I'd say, appealing. Like most aromatics, it smells very, very appealing. Some people out there hate smell smoke, period, but, um, People who tolerate pipe and cigar smoke, very, very nice. Very, 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 you know, very nice smelling. So, the tongue bite. Surprisingly, it doesn't bite. I detect no tongue bite for this tobacco, uh, no bite, no irritation to, t to the tongue or mouth. Um, but, it does burn very hot. It is a very hot burning tobacco. And that will affect the ratings of this tobacco. Uh, the retrohaling, when you retrohale this tobacco through your nose. A little bit spicier, um, you get a little bit more of a spicy smell through your nose. Um, not overpowering, not uncomfortable to exhale through your nose, but um, definitely a more spicier, stronger smell. And you do taste more of the vanilla-like seasoning. It almost has like a cinnamon-like um, taste, or a, almost like a nutmeg cinnamon-like taste, almost like a Christmas-like taste to it, if that makes sense. Uh, what is just recommend to back into an pie smoker, an pie smoker? No. I would not recommend it because it burns extremely hot, and the first half of the bowl is extremely mild, 
way too mild. I mean, even for people who don't like strong tobacco, people who don't like, you know, in your face, you know, like, um, really, really strong tobacco, this is just too mild. I mean, this is, this is milder than Captain Black. And Captain Black is a very mild tobacco, so I would not recommend this tobacco to people. It burns very hot, um, does burn your mouth, you know, kind of irritates your mouth a little bit, does not cause tongue bite, but, um, you get the point. So, unfortunately, not a great tobacco. So, overall rating for this tobacco, I'd probably give it a 10. Hmm. I'd probably only give it about a 5 out of 10. So, a 5 out of 10, which is an F in my book, so be there going on a grading scale, I'd probably give it a 4 or 5 out of 10. So, not a great tobacco, burns very hot, um, irritates your mouth. So, again, like most aromatics, not good. So, anyway, give me your thoughts. Uh, peace out, bye, later. Comment, rate, subscribe. Personal, see you if you want to. And peace out, bye.